Okay, today guys, I've got a 1999 Mercedes-Benz ML320. I'm gonna start with the engine. It's got the V6, it's 12 spark plugs. I have not changed the oil, probably needs to be changed. Uh, I did add some transmission fluid. Um, easy to change oil. Filter's right there. Train plugs directly underneath there. Don't even have to jack up the car to get to it. Oil fill is there. All your fuses are here. Your coolant is here. I use the Pentacin, which is the blue. Uh, it's got an air filter here, of course. Battery is from 2012, so it's three years old. Uh, it is from 9 of 2012, so yeah, just about three years old now. I'm going to go ahead and close the hood. Do have the symbol. Just needs to be glued back on. A little bit loose. All right. So we'll do a quick walk around here. I've replaced the brake light switch, the lateral acceleration sensor. Also changed the right front wheel speed sensor. I put in a full can of AC Pro and the AC works now. Uh, let's talk about some of the rust. Got some rust here, down there. There's some normal nicks and stuff along the door edge. Um, some more rust around the wheel wall here. Uh, the usual spot on the gas filler cap. Obviously the bumper could use a repaint. It's got the rust here on the license plate and the symbol. A little spot down here. Of course it's got uh, rust around this wheel well as well. This is a Chicago car. We expect it. Some rust down here. It's got your normal scratches and dings. It's nothing mint by any means, but it's not a bad looking car. Tires, oh, they've got pretty good tread on them. I don't know if we can get in there and see that or not. I'll show you the back one here. Get you through another winter and probably another summer. Depending on how much you drive, of course. The rims are in really good shape. Very clean. Not very much rust on them or uh, discoloration. We'll pop the back here. Oh, this handle is a little bit stiff. It's your back storage area. Got the uh, Carpets, uh, all the original ones there. Has the pull out um, cover in case you want to hide somebody in the back. Seats fold down, has this, the OEM uh, first aid kit in there. It also has the six CD disc changer over here, which are kind of getting obsolete now. But uh, if you still want to listen to CDs, those are available. Oops, got that door locked. We'll have to swing around over here. And just show you the hood. There are some scratches on, on the hood. Hard to see with the reflections, but there's a few scratches on the hood. Not too terrible. All right, here we got the inside. The camera makes the carpet look worse than it is. It really doesn't, it's really not too bad, but it does pick up all the different tones in it. Uh, the seat has very little wear on the front seat. A little bit right there. 
a little bit on the edge. All right. All the switches work. Don't push down. I mean, as far as into the console, which is typical of most Mercedes, I fixed that. side passenger side airbags this panel is just a little bit popped out probably needs some new pins behind it just to kind of snug it up but it doesn't really affect anything uh, let me unlock the door here show you the back seat in very good condition here's here's that switch that I replaced the uh, brake light switch See, uh, again the carpets are in really good shape just uh, the tones from the camera pick up kind of more than what it really makes it look worse than it is. All the lights work. It's got the uh, home link uh, garage opener, three of them. Of course, it's been running the whole time. Um, we'll rev it up a little bit here. small exhaust leak I haven't been able to locate where it's coming from um, but it's not very no it's not too noticeable uh, the only other problem this car has and uh, let me just take that off here is it does need the blend motor so the blend motor is back behind here uh, right now we've got AC but we do not have heat it will not when you switch the lever to heat uh, the door doesn't uh, switch from cool to heat so that's going to need to be replaced that part is $125 got your rear window uh, washer, wiper, whatever you want to call that. Um, however, I don't think it, well, I can't see it right now. I do think it works though. Um, electronic stability uh, right there. Of course, your uh, passenger heated seat. Uh, then it also has, of course, you've got uh, five, five speeds. Let me just close this back door here. See if we can't see if the wiper works. All right, just hit the button. Yep, that works. And even sprays. All right. And, and obviously, you can hear the radio works. Uh, let me go through the uh, show you the front windshield wipers. And they spray. Lights are right here. Let's flip those on. You can see the dash lit up. Let's go check out the fronts. They do need to have that uh, scum or scuzz taken off of them. Not a, not a very hard job at all. 15 or 20 minute job. Oh, by the way, it did have the, uh, what do you call those, the, uh, the steps on it, but uh, I took those off because they were routed out. And. Actually, it looks like I do have a brake light out over here, so I am going to have to change that. It was working before. And there you have it. Any questions, please let me know. Oh, last but not least, I did forget. There's one other thing. It does make a sound that to me could possibly be a right front wheel bearing uh, or it just could be the brakes grinding. Uh, I put new brakes on there, uh, had the old rotors turn, uh, but I don't know if it's it's been sitting here for the last month and a half so there could be some some rust on the rotor and it needs to be cleaned off. Anyways guys if you like it uh, email me my email address will be down below if you have any comments feel free to put those down. Don't forget to subscribe 
And if you like this, please give me the thumbs up.